And this is at the judiciary once again, which will be on the spot as lawyers engage in the fate of the Supreme Court judges, Kalpana Rawal and Philip Tunoy. Here's Marimi Mwangi with an insight into the crisis that is threatening to tear the judiciary apart. The collapse of mediation talks on the retirement age of judges stalemate has thrown the Supreme Court into a limbo. 70-year-old Deputy Chief Justice Kalpana Rawal and suspended Supreme Court Judge Philip Tunoy, age 72, are challenging their retirement at 70. But even as a five-judge bench chaired by Chief Justice Willy Mutunga resumes hearing the retirement age dispute, KTN News has now learned that the mediation talks, spearheaded by the Law Society of Kenya, flopped over alleged fears within JSC quarters. The Justice Rawal might serve for close to five months as the acting Chief Justice and consequently also sit at the JSC after Mutunga's planned retirement on the 16th of June. During the closed-door mediation talks, JSC reportedly clung to a hardline position that a judgment of the Court of Appeal, which prescribed an immediate retirement for Justices Rawal and Tunoy, should not be subject to mediation. The undercurrents of this standoff were evident in the courtroom on Thursday, even before LSK and JSC officials met for the Friday talks. Mediation that has been proposed, may I say with tremendous respect, it will be a complete waste of time. It will not go very far. The mediation flopped as it should, because it, you, you cannot also mediate on a constitutional provision, what is clear as day and light. But reacting to the prevailing retirement age stalemate at the top court, Makweni Senator Mutula Kilonzo Jr. said the failed mediation has given the Supreme Court and by extension the judiciary a bad name. His Mandera counterpart, Bill Okero, argues that the parties involved in the dispute should now give space for the Supreme Court to speedily sort out the mess. But with less than two weeks to Mutunga's exit, the highly anticipated Supreme Court verdict on the retirement age stalemate is said to be the greatest determinant whether the recruitment of Mutunga's successor will be undertaken simultaneously with that of his deputy. Once a constitutional crisis is in the offing and the Chief Justice retires in few days, naturally Justice Rawal will sit on that bench and naturally, therefore, she will be chairing the Judicial Service Commission that has had tremendous issues with her. If this recruitment of Chief Justice and Deputy Chief Justice is to happen concurrently at the same time, it is more suitable to, I think, all the stakeholders because they will be able now to balance uh, between the different ethnic groups. They will be able to balance between the gender, gender uh, perspective. Now with three judges of the Supreme Court, including the Chief Justice, staring at a possible exit this month, then no doubt a determination of the retirement age dispute will determine not only the future composition of the Supreme Court, but also whether the JSC will undertake a simultaneous recruitment of the Chief Justice and his deputy. Muremi Mwangi, KTN News, in Nairobi.